The topic of this video is solving equations involving absolute value. In our previous video, we saw a star inside absolute value bars. This is a teaching tool that I use to help students understand how to solve absolute value equations. So let's think about why I'm asking you to learn this. Here's a tip. When you see the absolute value of star, what I want you to think is distance from zero. For example, in the equation, the absolute value of star equals one, you should think distance from zero equals one, which is why the answers are one and negative one. And in the equation, absolute value of star equals negative two, you should think distance from zero equals negative two, which is not possible, which is why the answer is no solution. To solve equations involving absolute value, replace the expression in the absolute value bars with star. Then get the absolute value of star alone on one side of the equation. Next, determine the value or values you can replace star with to make the statement true and graph them on a number line. Next, write one or more equations involving star. Finally, put star back the way it was and solve each equation. Let's look at an example. Solve for x, the absolute value of the difference 6x minus 12 equals 6. OK, let's go through the steps together. The first step is to replace the expression in the absolute value bars, 6x minus 12, with star. So we have the absolute value of star equals 6. The next step is to get the absolute value of star alone on one side of the equation. Well, it's already alone, so there's nothing we have to do to achieve that. Next, determine the value or values you can replace star with to make the statement true. Remember, the absolute value of star is kind of like the word phrase distance from zero. So when we say the absolute value of star equals six, another way to think about that is saying the distance from zero is six. So if you start at zero and you go six spaces to the left or right, where do you end up? Six or negative six. So that means that the value of star, the thing inside the absolute value bars, could be 6 or negative 6. And we can write our equations. Star equals 6 or star equals negative 6. Now star is the thing inside the absolute value bars. So we'll replace the star in both these equations with 6x minus 12. This tells us that 6x minus 12 equals 6 or 6x minus 12 equals negative 6. Solving both these equations by adding 12 to both sides gives us 6x equals 18, or 6x equals 6. And dividing by 6 on both sides of both equations gives us two solutions, x equals 3, or x equals 1. Let's look at another example. Solve for y. 3 times the absolute value of the sum y plus 6 minus 15 equals negative 60. Let's go through the steps, just like we did in the previous problem. First, replace the expression inside the absolute value bars with star. Next, get the absolute value of star alone. The first step to achieving this is to add 15 to both sides. Negative 60 plus 15 is negative 45. The second step to achieving this is divide both sides by 3. Negative 45 divided by 3 is negative 15. So now we have to solve the equation. The absolute value of star equals negative 15. This has no solution. It is not possible to take the absolute value of a number and get a negative result.